Hello and welcome to Raj Sabha Television. I am Akhilesh Suman and you are watching Indian Standard Time. Indian Standard Time is a window to the world through which we try to understand a particular country, its economy, its history, its culture, its relationship to the outer world and also to India. And with me is Excellency the Ambassador of Kazakhstan, Yerlan Alimbayev. Welcome to Raj Sabha Television. Thank you very much. Excellency, Kazakhstan is uh, the largest geography in Central Asia and your borders also meet uh, China. And these are the days when coronavirus is impacting all over the world. So what is the situation of uh, coronavirus in your country? Uh, Kazakhstan, as you rightly mentioned, the, uh, the ninth largest country in the world. And yeah. uh, we have uh, uh, almost 1,800, if I'm not mistaken, the, yeah. uh, kilometers with uh, a common border with uh, China. China. And uh, yeah, uh, since uh, this um, coronavirus hit the uh, Chinese uh, the province uh, Hubei and uh, Wuhan city, uh, we uh, entered some restrictions okay. on, on visa regime mm -hmm. and uh, we uh, uh, so far uh, f uh, we uh, suspended some flights okay. uh, with all the uh, countries mm -hmm. mostly hit by the virus so uh, the namely with uh, Iran China uh, and uh, we also decreased uh, flights from uh, okay. South Korea and uh, Japan okay yeah. so are people impacted in uh, Kazakhstan no, with not virus? yet uh, luckily not yet okay no. thank God Okay. Another incident like uh, Afghanistan, Taliban, uh, you know, U.S. deal has taken place and Kazakhstan being the important country, one of the most important country in Central Asia. How do you look uh, about this deal? Uh, Kazakhstan welcomed the and uh, supported uh, right. this deal and uh, uh, Kazakhstan actually was uh, invited to participate at this uh, historic moment. Okay. And uh, our uh, special envoy on uh, Afghanistan, and uh, just uh, newly appointed, was mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, attending that uh, event in uh, Doha in okay. Qatar. So, yeah, um, and uh, basically uh, we are, uh, I think, the biggest, one of the biggest uh, the supporters and suppliers of uh, aid to Afghanistan. Right. So, uh, is for the last 20 years, like we. Uh, uh, helped uh, uh, Afghanistan uh, to uh, for its economy, and uh, we uh, like uh, uh, provided uh, some educational courses, some uh, rehabilitation facilities for Afghan students. Uh, okay. Not only for students, but also the, for officials, okay. policemen, and uh, just recently, uh, along with the UNDP and the EU, uh, the Kazakhstan, uh, they launched a new program uh, to for. Uh, uh, Afghanistan, Afghan women, okay. uh, for empowerment of uh, women. Oh. So, uh, uh, from uh, 2020 uh, till 2025, we will have every year 50 Afghan women uh, at our educational facilities. So, it's like uh, the way India was supporting in development activities yes. in Afghanistan. The same Kazakhstan was also doing this. Yeah, okay. we initiated it and the uh, EU, uh, European Union uh, supported us and uh, we are doing it uh, along with our, also the good uh, friend and uh, neighbor country, Uzbekistan. So, the both countries uh, provide the uh, universities. So, how do you see the future now that uh, one layer of negotiations are there? But second layer of negotiation had to go on, like, you know, between Afghan government and Taliban. So how do you see the prospect? I think that uh, the government and the, the uh, Taliban, they should uh, uh, sit uh, the, uh, at the tables and uh, continue these negotiations. So in, a, in the sake of uh, the uh, peace and stability uh, in Afghanistan. Mm. Given the fact that Taliban had a history, Taliban had a history of not giving women freedom, uh, women a right to roam around, a right to education, everything was there against Taliban. And now when Taliban is trying to, you know, negotiate with the Afghan government, do you think that Taliban should also change their old mindset and come uh, to a stage when they can ensure that Afghanistan is going to be a modern country? Uh, we what we have seen uh, last uh, the, uh, the for the last year so I, uh, I can presume that the yeah, Afgan Afghanistan is going uh, to, to uh, this way as you just uh, said that the, the changes are happening so uh, 
uh, and hopefully the, uh, it will uh, successfully implement it so by the uh, support and the help of the international community as well and uh, this will be uh, with the first and the, the very important step. Uh, sir, when uh, your country got independence after disintegration of Soviet Union, you know that uh, the first president, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, uh, he came out with very interesting idea of SICA, like creating confidence and interaction among the Asian nations. So, what was the, the you know encouragement? What was the you know provocation that he came with this idea of SICA? As you remember, it was um, 1992 uh, yeah. when the uh, just uh, end of the Cold War, right? And uh, the uh, Asian uh, city uh, countries they needed uh, this kind of uh, organization and the kind of this structure. So uh, our president uh, during the at this 47th uh, the sh session of the UN Assembly he announced and he proposed this idea of. Uh, establishment of uh, such kind of uh, uh, confidence mean. building measures yeah. Yeah, uh, mm. between Asian countries okay, right. yeah, to, to promote the stability in the region. So, so far uh, we, uh, this uh, SICA, uh, the first uh, ministerial meeting uh, was held in 1999. Okay. Then the first summit uh, came in uh, 2002. Okay. And, uh, and uh, since then we, uh, there were uh, five uh, summits. Okay. The last one was in uh, Dushanbe last year. Oh, last year? Yeah. It took, okay. Yeah. So, okay. uh, yeah, it's uh, going very well, actually. And uh, the uh, so far, uh, currently, there are uh, 27 member countries mm -hmm. there uh, with uh, eight observer countries and uh, five uh, international organizations uh, joined the, uh, this process. The former Prime Minister of India, Atal Bihari Bajpayee, he had also supported the concept of SICA. So, is India part of it or is India willing to be part of it? Have you proposed India to be part of it? Yes, uh, you, you just rightly uh, mentioned that the uh, India, uh, since its beginning, uh, was supportive, very supportive. And right. uh, 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 Mr. Vajpayee uh, attended the first uh, summit and yeah. uh, it was a very historical moment because the, uh, that time, as you remember, the, uh, the parliament, uh, the attack, terrorist right. attack happened, I think, yeah, in yeah. December 2001, oh, yeah, in New Delhi. So after that, there was some uh, tensions between the two countries. So this uh, uh, summit uh, in uh, June uh, 2002, uh, I think that uh, it helped uh, to, to take these uh, tensions down. So and uh, it was a very historic moment, if you remember, uh, President Musharraf uh, coming to uh, Prime Minister Vajpayee and uh, shaking his hand okay. uh, in Astana at that time. So India also participated last year? Yes. Okay, India is continuously yes, participating? Yes, continuously participating and uh, one of the biggest uh, supporters, uh, as I told okay, you. Okay, okay. And uh, we had uh, now uh, Turkey, China and uh, Tajikistan as uh, chairs of this uh, process. So okay, that's really interesting. Uh, but uh, you know that uh, Kazakhstan being one of the major powers in Central Asia, how it wants to balance the power in the whole region? Uh, actually, uh, we believe in trust. So uh, pr trust and uh, it, it uh, helps uh, the uh, countries, neighbors, uh, to build the stability uh, altogether. And uh, jointly, only jointly, we can uh, do this uh, job. And uh, Afghanistan is uh, the part of Central Asia, yeah, so we cannot uh, take it uh, away. And uh, the, it's, uh, the integration process is going on. And uh, as you remember, one of the uh, uh, biggest events was like um, uh, the SCO and the summits, yeah, and right. the SICA summits. Uh, the the Afghan issue, Afghan uh, problem was uh, the uh, main part of that. Those mm. summits, uh, the highest meetings. I'm uh, watching uh, for a long time that after you became independent, almost every year dignitaries are visiting from here to Af uh, Kazakhstan or from Kazakhstan to India and we are very good strategic partners. So what makes Kazakhstan to be so attracted to India? Uh, if uh, we go to, uh, through the uh, figures, uh, our president visited uh, India four times. Four times, yeah. Yeah, uh, so uh, it's very interesting, and uh, uh, I should note this: note that the uh, the first uh, the foreign country, uh, the 
president of the independent Kazakhstan visited was India. India, actually. that's why yes. I'm asking that. What? In the February 1992. Yeah. Yeah, just uh, two months after independence. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, and uh, since then we had uh, four uh, the highest level uh, uh, visits yeah. by our president and uh, four prime ministers uh, yeah. they visited Kazakhstan as well. And uh, of course, the uh, enormous uh, the, the, the ministers on the ministerial and the deputy prime ministers of, from Kazakhstan and the right. vice president of India also visited uh, Kazakhstan as well. And uh, I think what attracts uh, the, uh, the common, um, the historic, Past and the 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 future, uh, what which we can uh, they build uh, on the uh, bilateral uh, relations we are uh, enjoying now. The these are the issues we uh, attract the Indian side. So, sir, you are uh, you know bordering two big countries. Like one side is China, another side is Russia. So, how comfortable you feel? Do you feel? you know, trapped between two big powers or you're comfortable? Again, we should look uh, uh, back uh, to history and uh, when we, uh, the nomads and the Russians and the Chinese, uh, the empire and the Russian empire was uh, just our neighbors and uh, we, again, that time we uh, made, uh, we, uh, the good, uh, we established good relations uh, even that, right. uh, those days, in mm. uh, back in the 18th century. So, and uh, Nowadays, uh, the uh, relations we have with both countries, as you mentioned, the biggest countries, uh, the, we can uh, say, uh, tell that the, these relations are like um, example, a good example of the uh, interstate relations that should uh, look like. Because uh, with both countries, we have, uh, the, for example, with Russia, we have the uh, longest uh, the border. land border yeah, in the world. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the China, China is uh, uh, with China. We have uh, good economic and political relations. Okay. And, uh, we uh, share this. Uh, 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 the uh, we support this uh, Belt and Road in initiative of China, and okay. uh, Kazakhstan is the main part of that initiative. Okay. Yeah. We also uh, co-work, and uh, the we have the same uh, the uh, like infrastructural project initiative. Uh, called Nurlojol, and uh, we are successfully working with Chinese partners on that. So, what are the projects under BRI that uh, China is working inside Kazakhstan? Uh, they are mostly the infrastructural projects, like, like uh, construction, uh, yeah, the uh, outer road construction, road construction projects, and uh, we have uh, industrial projects, some uh, factories, uh, plants uh, be, uh, being uh, developed and uh, being uh, built there. And uh, yes, uh, it is in making. It is being built. Yeah, they are being made, uh, built, and uh, we have like uh, uh, Chinese companies okay. uh, present uh, the, in the uh, oil uh, projects in Kazakhstan, okay. in West uh, West Kazakhstan, and uh, we have also the uh, biggest Chinese companies in uh, road uh, building, road construction okay. projects. What is the financial arrangement? Like uh, China is giving loan to you. Or uh, you are accommodating China in just uh, giving the technology or manpower. It's uh, it depends on the project. Yeah. Yeah, we have uh, the all the three components as you mentioned. The we have the like investments mm. and we have the loans mm. and we hold this uh, partnership uh, relations uh, mm. like a PPP. Okay. With, so many uh, countries, you know, uh, were telling like, you know, what happened in Sri Lanka, so sometimes in Maldives also, that there was a deep track, you know, that uh, the loan interest rates were very high from Chinese side. So what is the situation in Kazakhstan? Uh, in Kazakhstan, we, uh, we uh, so far, uh, uh, yeah, of course, it again, uh, when it comes to the, these uh, negotiations part of these projects, so though, uh, so far, uh, the uh, as uh, the projects are the financial part of this uh, concern. So I think that if the project is uh, accepted and is under the progress and is operational, I mean, they're, 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 I think that the sides uh, took the right decision, is which is uh, suitable for both sides. I think mm. those parties. Okay, and India and uh, Kazakhstan are also, you know, very old strategic partners you have confidence over each other but the type of you know trade that is there between the two countries is not enough it doesn't show the real worth of relationship so what is the reason 
Uh, you're right that uh, the Kazakhstan is the biggest uh, trade partner mm. uh, uh, of India in Central Asia. Mm. Uh, uh, last year, our uh, trade volume uh, touched uh, 1.86, uh, almost 1.9 billion US dollars. Yeah, it's the biggest. Yeah, uh, because the, uh, the it exceeds the uh, total the uh, trade turnover with other uh, four uh, Central Asian countries actually. Mm. And uh, uh, it's getting uh, uh, better, better, and it's increasing every year. Mm. Uh, the uh, but the, of course we have a room uh, to increase and to uh, follow. Well, and, uh, uh, but the main uh, concern and the main issue in the in the agenda, uh, we raise this issue at the all kind of like uh, meetings with uh, think tanks and at the official level meetings. So. Uh, for example, uh, we had the first meeting of Business Council, India Central Asia Business Council, right, just recently. Right. Uh, External Minister Jayashankarji also recently participated happened, just I recently, think. yes, yeah. uh, 6th of uh, February. Right. Uh, and uh, the all parties, and uh, it's uh, obvious that the, there is a lack of connectivity uh, between the Central Asia and the, uh, India. Uh, because of the uh, situation in Afghanistan and uh, uh, of course uh, the Iran now is not helping to mm -hmm. increase. But uh, it is really interesting that India is investing in many parts of the world as far as gas and oil is concerned. But uh, there is no such relationship between India and Kazakhstan in these sectors. So any specific reason for that? Uh, the reason is just a commercial, uh, I think a commercial uh, base. So because uh, ONGC Videsh Limited, uh, they, um, uh, they've been uh, working uh, for the last eight years in Kazakhstan uh, market. Mm. Uh, so uh, we have signed, the both sides uh, signed the, the uh, contract agreement uh, in 2012. So mm. the works have started, exploration work started that year and uh, uh, in the Satpaev oil field of Kazakhstan. But they uh, somehow the uh, found that it's not uh, the profitable commercially. So okay. uh, now yeah, we are the sites, uh, the Kaz Kazakhstan uh, Munai Gas, Kazakhstan Oil Company and uh, the ONGC Videsh Limited are continuously working on the other options. Uh, so and uh, uh, just recently uh, uh, our Minister of Energy, okay. uh, new minister, just uh, recently appointed minister, he confirmed uh, the uh, he is coming uh, to participate in the 14th uh, meeting of the Intergovernmental uh, Commission. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, the, it's, uh, I think that even the, the uh, that fact that the, this commission is uh, chaired by Minister of Energy from Kazakhstan side and the uh, Minister of Petroleum and Gas from Indian side, it, mm -hmm. sh uh, it show that. Uh, the importance we attach to this uh, so is cooperation. Is geography the major reason for lack of uh, you know investment in this sector or something else? Uh, mostly no, it's just uh, it's a matter of time. Okay. It's a matter of time, so we are working, we should just work out some ways. Okay. So uh, I think that uh, this time uh, in uh, April, we are expecting that the next meeting will be in April. So the uh, the parties will come up with some uh, real uh, proposals uh, to, to boost this cooperation in uh, oil and gas. Okay. You are in the region that has been very infamous for some time because of terrorism in some parts of Central Asia, specifically in Afghanistan. What is the situation in, in your country or countries around you? Uh, Kazakhstan is a, a big supporter of uh, counter-terroristic uh, all the uh, initiatives in the world. So we have a, a, a initiative of uh, the code of contact, uh, con uh, conduct so against uh, terrorism. Mm -hmm. So and uh, we also uh, ask the Indian uh, partners to join that uh, code of conduct. So and uh, of course uh, the Afghanistan and uh, the issues of uh, instability uh, and uh, the uh, the it cannot uh, not but it also bothers us it's uh, our concern um, uh, for all the central asian countries but uh, as i uh, told before uh, we see it in the economic uh, the cooperation in integration of afghanistan into the uh, all these uh, the processes in uh, central asia and uh, the 
enabling uh, processes of so economic in integration and inter economic uh, rehabilitation and uh, uh, development. Okay. So uh, we, uh, for example, we have uh, good platforms like uh, uh, SCO, Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Mm -hmm. the, we la uh, just last year uh, we um, signed the protocol on um, establishment of uh, contact group. Uh, Afghanistan uh, Shanghai Cooperation Organization. You are also a Muslim majority country, but uh, you know there is a difference between many other countries and you know Kazakhstan. So, what type of Islam do you practice in your country? Uh, so, we have uh, since our independence, we established this uh, secular and uh, uh, government uh, approach uh, policy. Okay. So and. Uh, uh, Kazakhstan can uh, be uh, as an example, good example of uh, the uh, the as a country of uh, religious tolerance and uh, and uh, the uh, peace between the, all the uh, uh, representatives of all the religion and the confessions. So and uh, the good example of that is a Congress mm -hmm. initiated by uh, our first president. It's called uh, Congress of Leaders of World and Traditional Religions. So far, we had eleven of them. So there is no problem of radicalization in your country? No, we don't have. And how far mosques uh, interfere in politics or society? No, we don't have. We, are, we, are, we have religion separate and the state, uh, the issues are separate. So religious Islam has nothing to do with governance in no. Kazakhstan? religious Islam is, uh, is, is not involved in all these issues. So Kazakhstan is chair of uh, you know, NSG, Nuclear Supplier Group. And uh, India is one country which has been trying to be part of nuclear suppliers group. So, how India and Kazakhstan are cooperating on this issue? Yeah, uh, this uh, this group, uh, just our Kazakhstan uh, has taken the chairmanship last June. Yeah. And uh, this June uh, we are will be ta uh, given it, giving it uh, to to uh, I don't remember the which uh, country will be there. But our uh, missions in uh, Vienna, they are w working very closely and uh, to have this uh, issue uh, settled down. So, and uh, of course, the, uh, there is a procedures, okay. procedure and uh, there are some uh, the, uh, kind of uh, the order mm. that we have to follow. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that our uh, missions, our represent uh, representative offices, uh, offices in Vienna, they are uh, they are following that. Okay, those. okay. But uh, we also do have some agreement on uranium supply between Kazakhstan and India. So, is the European supply agreement is working? Uh, are you supplying uranium to India, or it is stopped? This agreement is um, is was valid uh, till uh, the, the till 2020. So mm. now we are uh, working on the next one mm. for uh, the five more years. Mm. So far, uh, Kazakhstan uh, the was uh, the is uh, biggest suppliers of uh, uh, uranium to India. Right. Actually, yeah, uh, right. we supply like uh, ten thousand uh, tons of okay. yeah to India. So it is going to be revived again. Yeah, yeah. Kazakhstan is also a very beautiful country. So, what type of uh, tourism relationship between India and Kazakhstan? Uh, for the last three four years, we uh, see the the increase very uh, actually uh, significantly uh, uh, increase of uh, Indian tourists visiting uh, coming to Kazakhstan right. uh, and uh, maybe the uh, because of that or I don't know uh, but uh, the uh, the flights mm. frequency uh, between our countries also uh, uh, they give some uh, impetus for that and uh, we uh, for example now uh, we have uh, two flights a day between uh, Almaty and Delhi. Oh, yes, two flights. Two a day. flights a day. A day, yes, yeah, and they all the flights are fully okay. uh, booked so every t every day. So yeah, it shows itself that okay. uh, we have good uh, tourist. I mean, cooperation and that the tourism is increasing, and uh, of course uh, the uh, we uh, have implemented the seventy two hours free visa regime for okay. Indian. Uh, citizens traveling okay. uh, to third countries, like, okay. uh, for example, the Indian uh, Indians traveling to uh, Europe or to uh, 
Russia or to US can stop over in Almaty and in other four cities of Kazakhstan and uh, spend uh, three days there and uh, and continue its. Uh, so what, uh, what type of hospitality they get in Kazakhstan if uh, Indians go there? Uh, they can uh, enjoy all the spectrum of uh, the hospitality the Kazakh uh, people have. Uh, we are very open and uh, we are very rich in uh, culture and the historical okay. places and mm -hmm. like uh, of course it's a huge and a vast territory and uh, the one one cannot uh, find the three days enough to see all of this all right so only the for example uh, the Almaty region has a lot of to see and to go and okay. uh, to experience excellency uh, we came to know that you know very good Eng hindi also Yes. Aapko uh, Hindi itni achhi kaisi aati hai? Uh, Wajo maine uh, Hindi uh, university mein sikha tha. Uh, isse kafi saal ho gaya. Pach. Mere kaise 24 saal se zyada ho gaya. Haan. 30 30 saal ke kareeb hai. Haan. Maine Urdu mein bhi ek kya tha. Uske baad. Kahan pe? Wahan pe? Kajakistan. Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan State University mein. Okay. Almaty mein. Haan. Uske baad main India aake kam kya tha? 2000 2004 mein. हाँ लेकिन हिंदी मुझे पता चला कि हिंदी आप बोल लेते हैं हाँ थोड़ा थोड़ा बहुत बोल लेते हैं तो डी यू गो टू सी इंडियन मूवीज पहले मुझे uh, अच्छा लगते थे जैसे वो क्लासिक मूवीज यस आई लाइक देम जैसे वो दिल वाले दिलों ने ले जाएंगे ऑफ कोर्स द्लासिक क्लासिक वंस मोस्ट दल्डर वंस आई मीन दल्डर वंस लाइक अवारा थैंक यू सो मच एम्बेसडर फॉर टॉकिंग टू राजसभा टेलीविजन Thank you very much. It was my pleasure, Mr. Suman. Thank you. Thank you, sir.